Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my brand new world that I've completely coded all by myself. It's um, an avatar world. So, if I just slash tag at s remove, oh, remove uh, ninja because that's the tag I have on right now. Um, you guys will get to see the four different uh, classes. So first up, we're going to start. We're going to start with Earth class. Now it is a bit glitchy to begin with, but um, when you have Earth class, basically what happens is you get a fishing rod and you get strength. And most classes do have this particle effect in front of them. As you can see, there's a particle effect wherever I look. But um, yeah. So Earth class gets strength one, uh, strength two, sorry, for an unlimited amount of time. And basically, when you hold this. Everywhere below you turns to, well, the block directly below you turns to dirt. So basically it's scaffolding and you can just bridge up everywhere and it's really fun to do, honestly. Um, it is a bit glitchy, sometimes it does stop randomly, but that is fine. The next class that we're going to go with is the fire class. Now these pressure plates here, they actually remove every other tag for each class that you have. So you can't just like... You can't go to each one and get each class. Every time you step on a new class, it removes the tag that you had. So, I'm going to step on this one and I get some snowballs. And you see I get fire resistance and a little fire particle. So, the snowballs are really OP. Basically, you throw them and wherever they land, they create a little blaze sound. But wherever they land, a fire particle, a fire block will appear. We can uh, basically just burn down part of the forest. I think it's a pretty good uh, thing, and fire resistance definitely does fit it. Okay, next up on the list, we have the air class. Now, this one was pretty broken when we first started to code it, but, I'm, but it, I think it's completely fixed for now. So, I will show you how this command works. You see, I still have the fire tag, but when I walk over here... I lose the fire tag and I gain the air tag. Now the air class gives you unlimited um, slow falling. You have this little particle here, but you also have this banner pattern. Now if you drop the banner pattern, you get a new one, but you also get levitation for a couple seconds and it's pretty good levitation too. So say you fall, you've fallen down a hole, say you've fallen down here, you can drop this and you levitate back up. And of course, every time you drop it, you get one back. So there's no chance you can lose it because these are pretty hard to get. So yeah, there's no chance you can lose it unless you accidentally like die with it or something. But um, when you die with it, you can just hit the thing over there again. The ninja class. Now, the ninja class is very different to the water class. So the ninja class, basically you come over here and it gives you a feather. You get speed um, 3 and night vision 2 apparently, I thought I set it to 1, for infinite amount of time. And then, whenever you drop the feather, you get a new one, but you also get invis and jump boost, as you can see. So now that uh, we uh, have shown you all of the classes, I will now show you all the commands that we've used to um, make these classes. So, let's start off with the ninja class. So it'll be execute at E, and in brackets, type equals item, um, comma, name equals feather, and then brackets closed. Squiggly, 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 effect at P, brackets, tag equals ninja, R equals four. That's basically the radius, that's like the area of that's affected by it. And then brackets closed, invisibility, 10 for seconds, 1 for, it doesn't really matter, and then true so there's no particle effects. You jump boost 10, 4. This one, um, it's the f same start, but instead of effect, it's give at P, R, radius equals 4, tag equals ninja, so only the ninja will get it, 1 feather. Alright, and then it'll just slash kill a type of item name equals feather, so it'll slash kill the um, feather that you dropped. Now, down here, this is the speed effect at all, tag equals ninja, speed 1, 2, true, so 1 second for 2, and then true. Basically, this is a repeat command, so it's infinite. Uh, same thing, but with night vision here. 
Um, show you that in a sec. This will clear everyone that doesn't have the tag of ninja. Um, fe the feathers. This one is basically this is the uh, air command. Let me just reset that air. Yeah. So this is the particle effect we uh did. Basically, it's same execute thing. Tag at tag equals air, so that's the air tag particle, and then Minecraft elephant underscore toothpaste un underscore tooth underscore paste underscore vapor underscore particle, and then this is basically where the particle appears. Okay, and then basically down here we have execute at e type equals item name equals, and we have to put um exclamation we have to put um talking marks here because banner pattern is actually two words and you can't just do two words you have to put um talking marks between them um for it to signal that it's a thing and then brackets closed e a squiggly 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 effect at p tag equals air radius equals three levitation three three true all right this next one's basically um the same except it's give at p um, banner pattern one, so it'll only give you one banner pattern, and then it just slash kills uh, the one that you dropped. Now, this one uh, is the fire one. Uh, execute at E, type equals snowball, and then three squigglies. These squigglies, by the way, are basically just coordinates. Um, particle Minecraft um, mob flame underscore single, and then uh, the coordinates of where it is, so this means that it'll. Um, that it will uh, put the particle effect on the snowball's location. Now this um, basically execute at e type equals snowball uh, location fill. So this is slash fill, and then the location of the snowball, and then the fire block. This one test for at e type equals snowball, which then give, gives off a comparator signal, and then it plays the sound of the mob dot blaze dot shoot for at p so everyone can hear it and then this one just slash give at p tag equals fire snowball so after you've thrown the snowball it gives you a new one through the earth one we enchant at p tag equals earth with lure now you can enchant anything that can be enchanted for this but it has to be able to do an enchant of more than one if it's something like mending it won't work because you can only get mending one but you can get lure three I think it's up to so it'll work for lure three. Now you have to do enchant at P um tackles earth for lure three so that only works that only enchants a fishing rod. Oh so you can see someone's actually using the uh earth command block right now so it's turned on. Now we do have a bunch more over there but this one is the only one turned on because this is the main one. So basically once uh someone's holding out the lure um, fishing rod it'll try and enchant it to three but it can't so then it'll give off a redstone signal and then it'll activate this one execute at p tag equals earth squiggly 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 set block squiggly set um squiggly minus one so that's the block below you and then squiggly and then dirt this one isn't actually used right now i don't think anyone's used it but basically execute at e type equals ender pearl um, squiggly 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 TP at P radius equals two squiggly 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 so basically I'll show you how that works um basically when you throw an ender pearl it I'll turn this off real quick I'll show you what I mean so when you throw an ender pearl you just watch it and then you teleport there but with this on you actually go with the ender pearl as you can see I'll show you again as you can see you go with the ender pearl so you know where you're gonna land. Now this is the anti-lag system that we have. This one sets the block of here, right here, to air, because a redstone block will appear here every 10 minutes. Now, once it appears, it'll be deleted instantly, but once it's set there, this will activate. Title at or action bar items clearing in 30, 30 seconds it means. So, um, in every 10 minutes, a little thing will pop up um, above the hotbar, which will show items clearing in 30. Then after 10 seconds, it will show items clearing in 20. Another 10 seconds, 10. Another 10 seconds, clearing items. And then it will slash kill at E type equals items, so any items that are left on the ground. And then after 10 minutes, it will set this block here to 
a redstone block. So, we have this, which basically detects when it's night and when it's day. So when it's night, which it is right now, it will activate this command block that tells everyone on the action bar, which is above your hotbar, that night time is approaching. This one will basically tell you that daytime is approaching. So uh, I hope you found our uh, little thing a, um, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, you can implement it by yourself. I don't care if you use it or not, but you can implement it to your own world. Um, just if you're going to make a YouTube video about it, make sure to give credits um, because it is like a lot of this is mine. I did get a bit of help um, with like some of it, but most of this is mine, um, my idea. So yeah, uh, make sure to give credits if you're going to make a YouTube video about it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, see you later. Bye.